Epic Morning is brought to you by the Club at Cordillera. Well, big thanks to the Club at Cordillera for making this epic morning possible. And coincidentally, we are actually out near Cordillera. Cordillera is actually next to us on the bluff on either side of Squaw Creek. Well, we've been joined by Molly Garrigan, who's the stable manager here, and they're getting our horses ready right now. But Kylie, I wanted to ask you yes. about how this area got its name. Why do we call this Squaw Creek? Squaw Creek, so... From what I was told was that when the Native Americans um, were here, they called their women squaws, and they would come down to the creek that goes through Cordillera here um, to have their children. And they wouldn't let any of the men come down, but they would only bring like sheep, um, you know, goats, whatever they had so that they could still eat, but get fresh water while they were having their children. And so I understand these are Ute Indians, and they were here from about the 1600s till about the mid-1800s before the first settlers and miners started coming into this area. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> but I also understand that they found artifacts in this area that go back thousands of years, showing that humans actually lived here in Squaw Creek for a very long time. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going right now? We're getting ready to get on our horses. What yep. direction are we going to be heading? We're going to be going out that way, up and, up and around through the mountains. <laughs> it sounds good. All right, so we're going to take it back to the studio. Right now we have, after a short break, the Vail Mountain Rescue is coming in. They always have a great story, cautionary tales, as well as tips for staying safe in the backcountry. Stay tuned. That's coming up after a break.